Hi, this is a short demonstration on how to configure the um, range bars based on ATR study for Sierra charts. This is currently I have open in ES. I'm going to demonstrate this on the ES. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we need to change this chart. The chart that we apply the study to needs to be a one tick chart. Now, there's a few things here to notice. First of all, is that you need to make sure that your data trade service settings, the intraday data storage time unit is set to one tick. And that's important for the accuracy of this study. Um, make sure that that's set to one tick. If it isn't set to one tick for your um, settings, set it to one tick here. And then go over here under edit and just delete all data and download and click yes. I'm not going to do that now, but that will refresh all the data and you'll have one tick um, granularity data, which is important. Um, next, we go into the chart settings and under the bar period, I change it to number of trades per bar and I change this to one. And then what that does is it basically converts this to a one tick chart. Okay. Next, after that, we're going to add our study. Okay, so we go to studies, add custom study, and then ATR range chart is the one we need. And um, you'll see that in the study settings, there is a reference to the ATR. So we basically need to reference an ATR from a chart that has the ATR on it. So in this case, I just have a 15 minute. Um, chart here with the ATR already on it and you can use whatever time frame you want and whichever ATR length and um, and uh, moving average and so on this is just the standard CR charts ATR and you once you've picked that and you know which one you want you go back into here into the study settings and simply um, let's add that back in and simply set the reference Okay, so I select here the chart, so I want the 15 minute chart to reference, and I want the average true range. And here I just added a mul ATR multiplier, so you can also you know, create ranges that are based off of a multiple of the ATR, not just the ATR itself. And I'll just leave that at one. Okay, so going back to the chart, um, we're gonna give it a moment to calculate. Okay, so now this is our um, range bars based on uh, ATR. As you can see, the range, the bars have like, you know, uh, a smaller range over here and it kind of starts to grow and grow and grow. And you can see that down here, the range is much bigger than it was over here. That is because if you look here on 3.6, which is the date that this is happening on, Okay, let's go back now to our 15 minute chart. We should be expecting to see the ATR rising, right, throughout this day. Um, going back over here, you can see on 3.6, which is, sorry, this day right here. If you look at this blue line, you can see that it's actually rising, rising, rising all throughout this period. And that pretty much corresponds with, you know, the bars also getting um, bigger. That's it. That's the study, and this is what the end result looks like. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, happy trading. Bye-bye.